Hi everyone, this is Wana from the RC Corner. We are authorized DJI distributor for MENA region. Now we are in Salala, Omen for our case study over date and coconut trees. Hi, uh, my name is Saeed Sefuddin. I'm the CEO for SAR Drones. And uh, I got into drones by just uh, started by playing uh, with small little toys. And then kind of slowly, slowly, slowly it became uh, a bigger, bigger thing. Now we have uh, a company that uh, sprays in, uh, in Salala. Can you please show you the, the crops and the size of farm and the pests that you occur right now? So the crops are uh, coconut trees, coconut palm trees are, are the main uh, crops that we are spraying today here. And uh, the acreage is around uh, 1,000, sorry, 2,200 spread around small little uh, areas. Okay, well, what is the current problem that uh, ha happen now here? Yes, so uh, the coconut trees uh, or the coconut palm trees are having a trouble of uh, or getting infected by uh, uh, a beetle bug that goes small little within, it says within uh, the leaves and uh, it slowly starts to kill the leaves and the, the production of the coconut itself uh, is, is going to be a lot less by the tree. So uh, what we are doing, we are spraying uh, these trees and we are seeing it, uh, you know, getting uh, within a few hours, we, we see kind of uh, the population of these bugs is, is lessened by almost 80 to 90 percent. So uh, why do you use uh, drone, uh, drone spray over other uh, uh, methods like uh, manual spray, something like that? Mm. Why? So uh, if, if we compare with the manual methods, manual methods just a man carrying a bag and, and going spraying around the, the palm trees, which takes a lot of time and uh, lots of effort as well. Drone is usually mapped, so you know er uh, the areas that need needs attention. Uh, so we take a drone, we fill it up with uh, pesticides and then we just uh, fly it around, which takes a lot less. I think it's more. Uh, it's about 200 times more efficient than uh, just spraying manually by uh, by man. So now we will test. Uh, we will put the water sensitive paper to test the result. Mesa side where she was. We will put a sensitive paper uh, on the banana tree mm -hmm. instead of a uh, coconut tree. So because the coconut trees are are uh, I mean very high. They go up to uh, 29 to 25 uh, uh, meters. Uh, this helps us to uh, kind of understand the droplet size and uh, the flow rate, what's happening uh, with kind of the atomizer basically and, and where the chemical is getting spread. Okay, we can go and fly now. Okay, now we are done with the spraying. Now let's go check out the results. Okay. There's one here. We can uh, see clearly what kind of uh, the size of the droplets. So there are about uh, more than uh, 50 to 60 uh, uh, spots that we can see from, from various sizes. And uh, that kind of uh, gives, us a, give, uh, gives us a good idea what's happening with the pesticides. This is the second one. So as you can see, the, this was on a slope and uh, this one was kind of a more on a flat uh, surface. Even the slope one uh, got few uh, pesticides drops, so that's, that's good. And then uh, on the flat one, we can kind of ensure that they're getting maximum uh, amount of uh, sprays. Okay, so uh, as you can see, our uh, droplet size are kind of uniform and spread well. So we consider this uh, mission a success. Well, what do you think today uh, we just complete uh, the spray? So what we completed today, it seems promising. Uh, we, we got to reduce uh, the, uh, sorry, the beetle bugs uh, population from 80 to uh, 90 percent, which is, which is quite a lot. Your favorite part in drone spray? My favorite part is when the mission is a success and we see dead bugs after, after the mission within two, three hours. And then uh, the results were kind of not immediate. So we spray and after, after spraying uh, for about two, three hours, we see uh, in the village, the, the dubas bugs kind of the village is filled with dubas bugs so uh, uh, how many days uh, will it take uh, for men yes and, uh, what about for drone yes so if you go if, uh, if we do uh, a normal ground That's right. which is 2200 acres i think it's going to take about uh, one month and two weeks so one month and a half yeah but if we are doing it with drones with the, with the t40 it's we, we can just do it in a couple of weeks 
So my suggestions to uh, most of the farmers and, and, and uh, whomever are getting into the uh, drone business is uh, do not be afraid because yeah. the system is so easy, it's the system is so kind of uh, compliant yes. and uh, you have all the restriction to not fly in the fly zones, so, so you're kind of, it's a, almost a foolproof system, ah, so yes. anybody can fly it and it's easy to fly and easy to operate. Sure, okay. Thank you so much uh, Thank you. for today.